It's a statistic hard to hear. Roughly one American dies every hour of oral cancer. But when found early, survival rates are near 80 to 90 percent. Boston Dental Group has friendly, gentle, and convenient service. They use state-of-the-art technology that can help pinpoint problems around the mouth area. Here to discuss their equipment and how they can help you is dentist Sarika Anand and Boston Dental Group Regional Manager Bridget Fly. Good morning to both of you and welcome. Hi there. Good morning. How common is oral cancer? We just talked about that. We did. Um, unfortunately, I think we've all kind of come to realize just how common the term cancer really is becoming in our world today. So. Um, oral cancer is no exception. Um, just to give you an idea, about 40,000 Americans are actually going to be diagnosed with either oral or pharyngeal cancer every year. And of those, 8,000 will actually die because of the disease. So although most of us like to assume, you know, it's not going to happen to us, mm -hmm. we don't need to worry about it. Um, unfortunately, the problem is just becoming so much more common that the general public absolutely needs to be concerned about it. And many cases are being diagnosed in the dentist's chair. Absolutely. You're seeing it yourself. Absolutely. Um, we now have this great tool called the Velscope um, that really helps to detect um, early on in its stages um, any changes or abnormalities in the mouth. And so what are some of the risk factors of the oral cancer? Um, there's a number of risk factors. Mm -hmm. I'll list a few, but of course this isn't a comprehensive list. Mm -hmm. um, Common ones such as tobacco use or alcohol mm -hmm. consumption, um, both really, really common. Now, if you smoke and consume alcohol, your risk actually increases significantly. So if you've ever, you know, considered quitting either or both, this is a good reason to, to really try and enforce that. There are programs um, that can help and Absolutely, referrals. absolutely. There's other risk factors like um, HPV, which is a common virus associated with cervical cancers. Um, when it comes to gender and age, although both men and women are susceptible to it, um, men are twice as likely actually to develop oral cancer. And we're showing oh, we're some pictures it, yeah. too. Can you describe to us what we're looking at? So, I mean, these are kind of lesions. Now, it's really important when it comes to your, your oral health um, or any, you know, part of your body really. If you notice anything that's different or unusual, um, anything is really, really noteworthy, like a red patch, a white patch, um, a lump or a swelling of any kind, um, definitely make note of it. The key really is to monitor it. If anything persists for longer than two weeks, um, you definitely want to have it looked at by your dentist. Um, most, you know, self-limiting things, whether it be canker sores, cold sores, you know, pizza burns, anything like that, it's going to resolve on its own in two mm -hmm. weeks. So mm -hmm. if it persists longer, then definitely have it looked at. All right, with these pictures, you can obviously see some, something was going on, but Absolutely. you mentioned the Velloscope. Is that kind of the best way to detect it early um, on? It's a great tool. Um, the important thing to know is it's not diagnostic. Um, what it is, is it's a great screening tool to kind of pick up abnormalities. Um, cancer, you have to understand, is not something that develops overnight. Um, there's a sequence of stages, you know, a course of events that kind of takes place. So anything that we can use to detect something earlier on, um, you know, in the game is definitely helpful. And if it's abnormal, does that mean it's cancer? It doesn't, um, it's not, again, it's not diagnostic, so the dentist would, depending on what they find, um, would choose to either follow up with a biopsy or not, um, which would confirm a diagnosis at that time. But again, it's really just about picking up any abnormalities um, in the mouth. Yeah, um, there are things that you should not ignore. So absolutely. if you see it, deal with it and talk to a professional. Absolutely. And Bridget, does insurance typically cover these types of procedures? You know, whether it's covered or not by your insurance, this is a life-saving tool that you simply can not afford not to have done. So we recommend to all patients to ask for this when you go in for your next dental checkup. And how many locations do you have? We currently have 11 locations, soon to be 13, so we're, we're definitely growing. Now, what other services do you offer there besides the screening? Besides general dentistry, we offer braces. We also offer um, oral surgery and chil children's dentistry. And obviously, we live in Vegas, a lot of performers in town. Can you help them with uh, creating better perfect looking teeth as well? Absolutely, we offer all kinds of uh, cosmetic services. Wait, what are you looking well. at my teeth for? <laughs> you mentioned performers and their teeth, teeth and then all of a sudden she starts looking at my mouth. <laughs> Great, so then when are you guys open? Let me know if I can come in. We're actually open seven days a week. We're very convenient um, and we have locations all over the Vegas Valley. Oh, that's great for Vegas too, because yes. we all yeah. have crazy hours and mm -hmm. seven crazy. days a week. I can get in there yeah. and make that happen. And soon to be, as you mentioned, 13 locations too. You have a summer savings special going on right now. What is that? Yeah. 
Yes, uh, we're offering $500 off of braces, also $100 off of crowns, and then for Morning Blend viewer and new patients, we're offering free whitening, uh, and that's with some limitations, of course, if you convert to $300 or more in treatment. And then also for today's oral cancer um, special, we're offering $49 for exam x-rays and the Vels Velscope oral cancer screening. And James has been eyeballing your glasses, so James, go ahead. I, no, I thought I was going to be exam. <laughs> I just wanted to you know. These look really cool. Wait a minute. There's like, you get to make a fashion scene there while you, you do that. I'm bringing the 80s back. <laughs> looks looks like good. This. Ladies, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for having us. All right, Boston Dental Group has 12 locations, soon to be 13 in the Valley, and they are open nights and on weekends. For hours, just head to the website or call the number on your screen. They're also on Facebook and Twitter. Still ahead.